Hi, in this video I'm show you how to create a 3D ring effect. So in some presentations you may see a ring that is put on top of each other. You may see this in some slides where you know they would put some text for each ring. The red ring would have some text and it's basically some, something like a layer of things put together and something stacked upon each other and it looks kind of cool because you have this 3D ring effect. Um, it may look like a, a cylinder or a barrel or a column. You can put different words in here and it just layer on top of each other. There's not really a 3D washer or ring image that you can put onto uh, the PowerPoint slide, but you can actually make one from one of the images that are provided in PowerPoint. This is one example where we have uh, the 3D rings layered on top of each other. Here's another one where they kind of are in like a step effect and each are higher than the other, but they kind of uh, move up from the bottom to the uh, top here. So I'll show you how to create this particular effect. Let me go ahead and escape to get out of this slideshow view. So let's go into a new slide here. And basically what we need to do is insert a specific image. And that image is this ring image, this, or this donut image. So once I select that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, draw a perfect circle. Uh, it doesn't really need to be perfect, but uh, if you wanna make a perfect circle, you can just press the shift key and draw it out with the mouse. And let me go and go ahead and move this back up here a little bit. It drew down a little bit too low, so I've got that. Now go ahead and right click and go under Format Shape. And what I want to do is I want to give it some 3D effects. So first I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, 3D rotation. And I'm going to just choose the preset because the preset's going to give me one where it's flattened out. So this is I'm going to choose that axis off the top. So it looks like it's not really there yet because basically it just moved it uh, the Y axis and just flattened it. What I want to do next is under the 3D format, go ahead and add a bevel to it. So I want to add a top and a bottom bevel. So I'm gonna add a top bevel first and you can kind of see it start to layer out. So the top bevel shows the top portion of it now. And we wanna add some length to this. All I need to do is increase the depth. So the depth here, you can go ahead and click on the arrows here and I'm gonna go ahead and just select it. And you can see it starts to grow. So you can choose it to whatever size. I think uh, probably 32 is fine here. And that would be okay, but I wanna add some depth to the bottom. So I wanna add a bevel to the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the bottom here and add that bevel. So once that's selected, now you've got a nice bevel here. And if I wasn't satisfied with this blue color, I wanted to add another color, I'll go ahead and go to fill and change the color. Let's say I wanted to have an orange color. And you notice that it's gotten most of it orange, but then the other parts of it need to be changed. Not only the fill color, but the line color has to change to orange. And the line color's changed, so that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and click close. And one thing you can also do is if you don't want the center to be that big, you can actually change it. There's, if you click on it, there is a marker here where you can adjust the diameter of the center. So I can make it small or I can make it large and that would adjust the center diameter, how much of a, of a hole you wanna give it. Let me go ahead and control Z to undo that. Let me get it back to uh, where I wanted earlier. Maybe actually, maybe make it a little bit bigger. I can see some kind of space there. So I've got that set up. If I wanted to have choose different colors, I can go ahead and I'm gonna move it down here. I'm gonna go ahead and press Control D to duplicate that. And that would duplicate a image of it. And so if I want a different color, I can just change the color now. Right click and go under the fill bucket here, the shape fill, and maybe I want a purple. So I'll choose purple here. And I also need to change the line color. So I'll go ahead and go under the uh, shape outline and choose purple and now that's changed. And so there's many variations that you can do with the, the, the coloring of the fill and the line. So that's the way that we can create a washer effect. And if I wanted to stack them up, I can just go ahead and move them over um, and then just kind of like let the guidelines. So you can see like after I move it, you can see that straight line going from top to bottom. That's a nice guideline that uh, PowerPoint does. If I want to add another color again, I can just select that, press Control D and maybe I can add a different color. Let's go right click and uh, let's see, let's try to add a green and then we'll select the line to green too. And then that has given us this green color. Let me go ahead and select it and move it over and you can see that this line from the top to the bottom, it, it guides us there. You can see there's some space here. Maybe I wanna use the arrow key, and move that up a little bit or maybe that's a little bit too much. Move it down, maybe move this one down a little bit, the purple one and that gives us a nice guide. So if I wanted to move this object around, I can select it, select everything. So that's only selects that one, that's the green one, that's the purple one, that's the orange one. I can press Control A, it'll select all of them, and press Control G, 
And what that does is it groups all the images together in one group and you kind of move it around a little bit more safely. And uh, uh, if you wanted to, to make adjustments to it, it will all adjust the same uh, if you wanted to. See, I've kind of elongated it now. Uh, let me control Z to undo that. And so there's different options you can do, different ways that you can move that around. But basically, this is how you create a 3D ring effect uh, with PowerPoint. You can just use the donut shape and twist it onto its side, give it a 3D rotation, and then also uh, give some depth to it, and then adjust the colors and add a bevel. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.